At Sandia National Laboratories inside Kirtland Air Force Base, nuclear weapons equipment is spun around, smashed, and even blown up. All to help the U.S. military modernize its nuclear weapons stockpile. U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter called the weapons the Pentagon's top priority. The nuclear mission is the bedrock of American security. The U.S. can launch a nuclear attack in three ways. By land with intercontinental ballistic missiles, by air with nuclear weapons on bombers and fighter jets, and by sea with nuclear missiles roaming the oceans on submarines. But all of those programs are entering an age where they need to be modernized. New bombs being developed here are updating technologies dating back several decades with these modern circuit boards. But the bombs won't be ready until 2020. And the intercontinental ballistic missile system needs a complete makeover. As a benchmark of their uh, uh, ancient character, they still use uh, floppy disks and, and uh, uh, computers that would be relics in any other setting apart from uh, uh, this. Carter says the U.S. has gone years without paying enough attention to its nuclear enterprise. We haven't done that earlier uh, for the very simple reason that we have been very preoccupied for the last decade and a half, particularly with Iraq and Afghanistan. And some experts say the delay has put the U.S. behind other nuclear powers. Our modernization program will be completed two decades after Russia and China complete their modernization programs. Experts say the U.S. must pay for modernization now or face losing its nuclear system to ineffectiveness and unreliability. The air, land and sea components of the nuclear deterrent are all expected to reach the end of their useful lives in the next decade. Carla Babb, VOA News, Kirtland Air Force Base.